air bite shrewdly. It was very cold. It is a nipping and an eager air. What hour now? I think it lacks at 12. No, it is struck. Indeed? Heard it not. Then draws near the season wherein the spirit held its wont to walk. King doth wait tonight and takes his rouse. Is it a custom? Ay, Mary ist. But to my mind, though I am native here and to the manor born, it is a custom more honored in the breach than in the observance. <laughs> oh, my lord. He comes. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. Be thou a spirit of help, O goblin damned. Bring with the airs from heaven, O glass from hell. Be thy intents wicked or charitable. Thou comes in such a questionable shape that I will speak to thee. I will call thee Hamlet, King, Father, Royal Dane, oh answer me. Let me not burst in ignorance. Say, why is this? Wherefore? What should we do? Beckons you to go away with it, as if some apartment it did desire to you alone. Look with what courteous action it waves you to a more removed ground, but do not go with it. No, by no means. It will not speak. Then will I follow it. Do not, my lord. Why? What should be the fear? I do not set my life at a pin's fee, and for my soul, what can it do to that, being a thing immortal as itself? It waves me forth again. I will follow it. Do not, my lord. What if it tempt you toward the flood, or to the dreadful summit of the cliff that beetles are its base into the sea, and there assume some other horrible form that might deprive your sovereignty of reason and draw you into madness? Still I am called. Go on. I'll follow thee. You may not go, my lord. Hold off your hands. Be ruled. You shall not go. My fate cries out. Still I am called. Unhand me, gentlemen. By heaven, I'll make a ghost of him that lets me, I say, away. Go on. I'll follow thee. He waxes desperate with imagination. Let's follow him. It is not fit thus to obey him. To what is your will come? Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Heaven will direct it. Nay, let's follow him. Whither wilt thou lead me? Speak! I'll go no further. Mark me. I will. My hour is almost come, when I to sufferous and tormenting flames must render up myself. Alas, poor ghost! Pity me not, but lend thy serious hearing to what I shall unfold. Speak, I am bound to hear. So art thou to revenge. When thou shalt hear. What? I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and for the day confined to fasten fires till the foul crimes done in my days of nature are burnt and purged away. List, list, oh list. Oh God. If thou didst ever thy dear father love Revenge is foul and most unnatural murder. Murder? Murder! Most foul, as in the best it is. But this most foul, strange, and unnatural. Haste me to know it, that I with wings of swiftest meditation or the thoughts of love may sweep to my revenge. I find thee apt. Uh, and duller shouldst thou be than uh, the fat weed that roots itself in ease on Lethe Wharf. Wouldst thou not stir in this? Now, Hamlet. Here, tis given out that, sleeping in my orchard, a serpent stung me. So the whole ear of Denmark is by a forged process of my death, rankly abused. But know thou, noble youth, the serpent that did sting thy father's life now wears his crown. Oh, 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 my prophetic soul, mine uncle. Aye. That incestuous, that adulterate beast, 
with witchcraft of his wit, with traitorous gifts, O oh, wicked wit and gifts that have the power so to seduce, one to his shameful lust the will of my most seeming virtuous queen. Oh, Hamlet, what a falling off was there. But soft, methinks I scent the morning air. Brief, let me be. Sleeping in my orchard, my custom always of the afternoon, upon my secure hour thy uncle stole with juice of cursed Hebanon and of Isle, and in the portions of my ears did pour the leprous distillment, whose effect holds such an enmity with blood of man that, swift as quicksilver, it courses through the natural gates and alleys of the body, and with a sudden vigor it doth posit and curd, like eager droppings into milk, the thin and wholesome blood. So did it mine. Thus was I, sleeping, by a brother's hand of life, of crown, of queen, at once dispatched, cut off even in the blossoms of my sin, unhouseled, disappointed, unannealed, no reckoning made, but sent to my account with all my imperfections on my head. Oh, horrible! Uh, horrible! Most horrible! If thou hast nature in thee, bear it not! Let not the bed of Denmark be a couch for luxury and damned incest! But howsoever thou pursuest this act, taint not thy mind, nor let thy soul contrive against thy mother aught. Leave her to heaven, and to those thorns that in her bosom lodge to prick and sting her. Fare thee well at once. The glowworm shows the matin to be near, and gins to pale his ineffectual fire. Adieu. Adieu, Hamlet. Remember me. Oh, you heavenly host. O oh, earth! And what else shall I couple hell? File. Hold my heart. And you, my sinews, grow not instant old, but bear me stiffly up. Remember thee. I, thou poor ghost, while memory holds a seat, and this distracted globe, remember thee! Yea. From the table of my mind I wipe away all trivial fond records, all souls of books, all forms, all pressures past, and thy commandment all alone shall live within the book in volume of my brain unmixed with baser matter. Yes, by heaven. Oh, most pernicious woman. Oh, villain. Villain, smiling, damned villain, my tables meet. It is I should set it down that one may smile and smile and be a villain. At least I am sure it may be so in Denmark. So, Uncle, there you are. And now to my word, it is a Jew, a Jew. Remember me, I have sworn. To my lord, my lord. Lord Hamlet. Heaven secure him. So be it. What news, my lord? How is it, my noble lord? Oh, wonderful. Good, my lord, tell it. No, you'll reveal it. <laughs> Not I, my lord. <laughs> Nor I, my lord. I'll say you then. With well, the heart of man once think it, but you'll be secret. I, my lord, by heaven. There's ne'er a villain dwelling in all Denmark, but he's an errant knave. There needs no ghost, my lord, come from the grave to tell us this. <laughs> Well, I write, you are in the right. And, and, and so without more circumstance at all, I, I hold it fit that we shake hands and, and part. You, as your business and desire, shall point you. For every man has business and desire, such as it is. And for my own part, look, you must. I'll go pray. These are wild and whirling words, my lord. I'm sorry they offend you heartily. Yes, faith, heartily. There's no offense, my lord. Yes, by St. Patrick, but there is Horatio and much offense, too. Touching his vision here, and it is an honest ghost, that let me tell you. 
for you desire to know what is between us or master it as you may. And, and now friends, as you are friends, scholars, and soldiers, give me one poor request. What is it, my lord, we will? Never to make known what you have seen tonight. My lord, we will not. Nay, but swear it. In faith, my lord, not I. Not I, my lord, in faith. Upon my sword? We have sworn, my lord, already. Indeed. Uh, upon my sword, indeed. Swear. Consent to swear. Propose the oath, my lord. Never to speak of that which you have seen. Swear by my sword. Swear. What's more of gentlemen? Lay your hands again upon my sword. Never to speak of that which you have heard. Swear by my sword. Swear. Come hither, gentlemen. Oh, day and night, but this is wondrous strange. Then as a stranger, give it welcome. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are thought of in your philosophy. But come. Here. As before, never so help you mercy, how strange or odd so e'er I bear myself, as I perchance hereafter shall think meet to put an antic disposition on, that you at such time seeing me never shall, with arms encumbered thus, or this head shake, or by pronouncing of some doubtful phrase, to note that you know aught of me, this is not to do. So grace and mercy at your most need help you. Swear. Swear. Rest. Rest, perturbed spirit. So, gentlemen, with all my love, I do commend me to you. And what so poor a man as Hamlet is may do to express my love and friending to you, God willing, shall not lack. Come, let's go in together. And still your fingers on your lips, I pray. The time is out of joint. Oh, cursed spite that ever I was born to set it right. Nay, come, let's go together. Mm -hmm. 